In nearly a decade removed from a nine-year NFL career, his Final Four spent in Seattle, Washington State Cougar Hall of Famer Steve Broussard is the Trapper's new keeper at Fort Vancouver High School Football. This is what they gave me here. Once a Coug, always a Coug. It opened my eyes to a variety of things. You know, coming from South Central LA, it was a culture shock for one, and it allowed me to see the diversity. And that's what the thing about that would help me grow. You know, coming from South Central, there wasn't a lot of diversity. And so once I embraced it of uh, being around different types and different people, I grew as a person. And, you know, I think no better place that you can in Pullman. From the Palouse Posse to the NFL. Broussard, 45 50. He might go. 35 30. They won't get him. Steve Broussard, touchdown Seahawks. He'll go all the way. Steve Broussard's nine year pro career ended in 1998. The ex Cougar. He is just eating the Oilers up today. The real itch came when it's just on the field, the game planning and the, the strategizing and getting the guys prepared. That's, you know, where what I missed. These two were probably in 1997. Since his Seahawk days, Broussard has been living that nomadic coaching lifestyle on high school and college staffs, including Portland State, then his alma mater of Wazoo, Arizona State, and most recently at UCLA. You know, I be, became a house dad and was, was doing that, you know, doing that role and embraced it, you know, struggled, but embraced it, and then got, you know, got cabin fever. After his fiance got a job back in the Pacific Northwest, the 50-year-old father of three spent last season as an assistant on the staff at Camus's Union High School. It's not about football. It's about the lessons you learn. You know, the things that, that my coach told me is the stuff that sticks in my head about teamwork, about holding each other accountable, about being accountable, about being on time and not uh, making excuses and working hard. Growing up in South Central LA, the 1989 Pac-10 Offensive Player of the Year just wants to change lives and have a positive impact on the kids at Fort Vancouver. Some of these kids that seniors, you know, they had one coach, but, you know, they've had six coaches, seven, you know, there's a lot, been a lot of turnover here in the community. So I think, you know, hopefully, you know, Lord willing that, that I'm able to, to see some freshmen through their high school years, you know, and get some stability in the program and just some excitement back there and, and some winning. Bunkering down, there was nowhere to go but up for the Trappers, winning just one game a season ago. No more than two victories a year for the past decade. Me personally, I think it's about celebrating those small successes. And once you celebrate the small successes, then you continue to build on those. Yes, Steve was the 20th overall pick by the Falcons in 90. The NFL draft this year kicks off with day one of three. It's Thursday.